When you first sign into your Gmail address, you will probably come across a screen something like this. Um, mine will be a little different to this, to yours, but you will probably have an app called The Store, Gmail, YouTube, maybe Google Search, Google Drive, and possibly the calendar. So um, that is how it will look. What I'm going to try to tell you today is how to organize your Google Drive, which is where you'll store all your documents and the documents belonging to the students. Um, as they use them, they need to file them into folders. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to go to a clean page, which um, shows you a little bit more about what I think you'll see when you click in that spot there. The only difference is that I'm not going to um, be signing in using my own um, personal Google. So I'm going to sign in um, using the Tomaranui Google. And you can see up there, I've got Lee at tomaranui.school.nz. So that's my sign-in page. And I know I'm on the right page for Google Apps because I've got all of these things up here on this black bar. Now that's your go-to bar for just about everything that Google Apps can do for you. So for a start, I actually need to um, make sure that I have Google Drive up and running. Uh, I can't see it there immediately, so I'm going to go back. There it is, I missed it. Okay, so Drive is the thing that we're after. You can access this going through the docs as well, but Drive is the place where you should click on, which I've just done. And it will open up a whole new world for you. The biggest thing here is this Create button. So from now on, any time you want to write things up or do presentations or whatever, you can use Google Drive instead. So I'm going to create a new document. And I'm going to just go up here and show you how you do this. You can see the name up there. And when I hover my mouse over, it says rename. So I'm just going to call this Tomaru Nui Practice. And you can do the same if you like. Make your own one. And you can see up there the name has now changed to Tomaranui Practice. If I want to go back to the drive where everything's stored, I just hover over there and you see the little black arrow going and it will tell you to go back to the drive. In your drive, you can now see Tomaranui Practice which is the document that I just created. And so if I click in there, I could write this document is about um, my Google journey. And students can um, make documents and obviously insert images. And I will insert an image by uploading one from this computer and I click on that choose an image to upload and I've got one of the mountains in here somewhere as I came over to Tomaranui one day I took this picture of the lovely mountains you can see it's uploading when it's finished uploading it should show up might just take a minute to do it there it is, and that's inserted. Now I can click on it like I could in a Word document, resize it, um, decide to move it elsewhere if I want to. But I'm just going to take the size down a little bit. There we go. I want to keep it in line with text at the moment, or maybe I want to put it in a fixed position, say over in that corner. That's as far up as it will go. So, and it will stay there if I like. So, I've made this Tomaranui practice. I don't have to save anything in Drive. That's the nice thing because all changes are saved in Drive. And up there, you'll see every few seconds the machine will save automatically. So, it's not like Word where you have to go back and save it all the time. Okay, I'm going to head back to the Drive. 
and if you can't remember where that is go over by the name and see the little black arrow going back to the drive right and there you can see um, the drive there. I'm going to close that window which is about downloading the drive okay so that's my one document in the drive I can also create folders documents presentations spreadsheets forms and drawings and I'll tell you about each one of those right now I'm starting with a folder so if I want to create a folder this is what I suggest you do for your uh, class well, you might decide to have some personal stuff, uh, personnel stuff in there that you want to keep separate. So you see the folder has just turned up there. I might also create a folder called Shared Classwork. Whoops, sharted. Shared Classwork. Create and if I've got any um, old Word documents that I want to go in there, I can pop them into there as well. Right, so this Tomalanui practice, I'm not sure that I'm going to put that in any folder at the moment, but I might create another folder. In fact, what I'm recommending is until you get the um, Harper dashboard, which will help you manage your files a lot better that you actually make a folder for every student. So in your um, in your drive, you're going to head one up called Johnny B. Um, create that folder. And there it is. Now, how does Johnny B get to it? At the moment, it's just for you because you created it. But if you want Johnny to be able to put stuff in it, then you need to share it. So right click on there and share and email Johnny. And so what you do is you can just email him the link or you can just put his address in there and um, I'll put Al Hines because I can 89 at gmail.com and save and share it and yes I'm sharing it with someone who's not in that organization so I've done that now so what you might like to do as well is with that shared classwork one you might want to share that with all of your um, class so right click share whoops sorry right click share, share and add all the addresses of all of the students in your class, all the email addresses in that box, just one after another um, and you can add them all at once, one after another and just save and share. Um, at the moment only I can access it. But once you add all of those, all of those other people can access and it may be that you want them to edit it. I would suggest that you don't do that now, that you actually just change it so that they can view it. Um, they can take copies of stuff. And so you just get out of there by pressing cancel and we have done. Now just to explain a bit of an overview here, what you're doing is setting up folders. Um, the folders uh, remain private to you until you share them. The same with every document. Now if we have a document here, um, you remember we made this one earlier. When I want to share it with someone else, I can hover over that blue share button. It says private only to me at the moment. So if I click on that, I can actually change that. And it may be that I want to share with someone else. I could decide just to share the link. And so I could email out to who I wish to and share it. And then it would be done. Or I could add the email address in that bar there. Once you've shared it, you can actually decide as well whether you want them to be able to um, edit it. 
I need to show you that, so I'll just add my name in there again. Um, I have to decide, do I want them to edit it, or do I want them just to write comments on it, or I just want them to view it, and I think in this instance I'll just make it so that they can view it, and save and share it. Now, what that means is that someone will be able to come in here, that one person who I sent the email to, and have a look at that, and say, oh, that's a nice start, um, I can't add comments, but I can view it. If you are given the addition of adding comments, you can actually make a comment alongside. Like, I might say, is this the best picture to use? Is this, is this the best picture to use? And someone else could come in and say, well... Um, no, I'll look at that and say, mm, yes, it actually is, so I'm going to resolve that problem, just and it will go away. So you can decide what comments you want to keep and whatnot. So with Google, it's all about collaboration. You can work on one document together and not have multiple versions hanging around. Going back to the drive again, back to that little back arrow. In your drive, when you're asked to create, um, you, as I said before, you've also got the option of making a presentation, which is kind of like PowerPoint, or a spreadsheet, uh, like Excel is a spreadsheet, or a form. Form is very good for making surveys, and I'll show you that another time, or even making drawings. I want to go back up here. And just to show you that when you when you make things they shared in your drive, they are saved in your drive. However, if someone else shares something with you, it will be you'll need to click down there to be able to see it. Once you've gone in there and see it, then you can actually add it to your own drive by um, just clicking on it, and there'll be something come up here that says "Add to my own drive." All right, so. In terms of classes at Tomaranui, I think um, every teacher should have a shared classwork folder. Every teacher should have every child with their folder and share that with every child, um, e with each child, should I say. Um, that's a good start. I think that will probably do for about now.